Hello guys, today we'll create a manual sales invoice in Oracle Fusion. Uh, let's click on the navigator. Under the receivable module, uh, click on the billing. Now click on the tasks button under the billing section. And under the transaction, create transaction to create a manual sale invoice. So this uh, sale invoice is without having a sales order, without linking any sales. This is like a manual sales, like uh, other income, uh, rest from the operation. So there is a transaction class. So we have to select which transaction, whether this is an invoice, cat memo, debit memo. So in this case, this is a invoice. So click on the invoice, business unit is required, this is the default data here we created. Transaction source is required, so this is the manual invoice, so I'm selecting the AR manual invoice. The transaction type that you have created in the system. So uh, I'm going to enter a grocery rent, so I have created a grocery rent transaction uh, type. So select the grocery rent, now you have to provide the uh, invoice number that you can enter under the transaction number. Document number will be uh, system automatically generated. Bill to name is required, and this is the same uh, grocery rent that I have created. We can go and search here. You can write the partially name and click on the search button. Yes, go. Click OK. After this one, the transaction date is required. So I am entering 1st July 2019. And the accounting date is the date who will uh, post this transaction to the general ledger. You can also enter the salesperson name, invoicing rule, whether this is in advance or in arrears. And further, the payment terms is required. This is the based on the payment terms with the customer. So I'm selecting here immediate. After this one, we have to enter the invoice line. So you can write the description of this transaction. Let's say this is the rental income and other information. If it is available, quantity is required. This is the mandatory field. Let's put one quantity um, regarding the unit price, like two thousand. So after this one, uh, provide the taxation classification, the rate. So I already have the default rate five percent. So I'm selecting this one. The other information you can also record uh, if you have the information like the to uh, type, revenue scheduling, revenue period, start date, end date, number of years. All the information you can enter. So I have entered all the information. Now click on the save button to save the transaction. So the transaction has been saved successfully, but the status see this is incomplete. So to complete uh, this transaction, click on the complete and review. Uh, the status of this transaction uh, is now complete. Then the document uh, has been generated. So please note until now we did not post this manual sales invoice to the general ledger. In order to post uh, this sales invoice to the general ledger, click on the action button and click on post to ledger. Now there is a confirmation accounting is complete. So you can further view the accounting whether our Counting entry is correct. So debit receivable and credit the revenue and credit the tax account. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.